look at this video behind me, and look in that upper part there. That, that is a young boy. 4,000 are dead in Nepal, but some rescues, including that little boy, found alive in the rubble of that massive earthquake. New at 6 tonight, New Center 5's Jenna Wu speaks to one man in Nepal witnessing the devastation and fear. Uh, we just had uh, another big uh... earthquake. I know. Manish Koriali is speaking from Shaku, just outside of Kathmandu. His mother and this Boston couple, Brigitte Kazalis, and her husband, Joe Collins, founded Friends of Mati Nepal more than two decades ago to rescue young girls from sex trafficking. All 520 girls, many younger than 10 years old, survived the earthquake but are now sleeping outside in the rain. I was very uh, euphoric, if one can may say that. When I heard that no children were buried under the rubbles, that everybody was alive and the building was standing, but today I'm crumbling. All I see is uh, people camped out outside uh, of their houses, and there is fear in everyone's eyes. Their fear is waiting for the next aftershock. Yesterday it was 6.8 magnitude, today 4.6. Most of the people of Kathmandu city, they are camped out, uh, camped out outside on the street, in the open space. Are all the buildings badly damaged? All the old buildings of uh, Kathmandu uh, are gone. Their cultural heritage was like Versailles, you know? And in one minute, it's all gone. And all those children, and how many homeless children. And also, what is that going to do to sex trafficking? Brigitte Collins is most worried about the monsoon season, which begins in about a month. She said it will be impossible to rebuild before the rain arrives.